The average burglar will spend 8 to 12 minutes rooting through your personal items looking for anything of value. So for this project, I'm going to show you how to turn an old jar of salad dressing into an inconspicuous secret safe that's completely hidden in plain sight. Start this project with a jar of Miracle Whip and a can of ivory colored spray paint. While you're at it, you might want to pick up a cheap tin of cat food as well, and you'll see what that's for in just a minute. Now all we're really after here is the plastic jar and the lid, but rather than dumping all the salad dressing in the garbage, just scoop it into another container so you can still use it later if you want. Scrub the inside of the jar clean with soap and water and make sure it's dried thoroughly because that's the only way our spray paint is going to stick. I'm using an ivory colored spray paint that's made for painting plastics and you can see this is the kind that has the paint and primer in one. Shake the paint for about a minute then carefully spritz the inside of the jar and give it a very light coating. You might want to wrap the container with something like a paper lunch bag and tape it around the neck to make sure the outside of the jar doesn't get covered in paint. It's a good idea to spray very thin coatings one at a time so the paint doesn't run. Take your time and do it right and the end result will be a lot more convincing. Now if you're like me and don't have the patience to wait 20 minutes between coatings, try using a hair dryer to blow a little warm air around for about 30 seconds at a time. This speeds up the curing process dramatically, but be careful because if it gets too hot it can warp your container. After only 5 minutes, I sprayed and dried 5 different coatings, and you can already see just how genuine our decoy jar is starting to look. In fact, if we set two jars side by side, you can barely tell which one's real and which one isn't. Now to help protect the fresh paint from getting scratched up, I picked up a sheet of sticky back foam from the craft store for 89 cents. I cut out a circle the same size as the bottom, and a rectangle that matches the sides, and after pressing them into place, you can see it protects the paint and helps cushion whatever we place inside. Now you could stop here and simply load up your jar with whatever stash you're trying to hide and tuck it away somewhere in the fridge. It's as easy as that, because the last place anyone will look for something valuable is in a jar of salad dressing. But if you want to take it one step further, we can go to the next level by adding a false bottom. Grab a cheap tin of cat food and bust it open. This one is only 69 cents at a local grocery store, and it's definitely worth the money for the added layer of protection. Use the cat food any way you want, but save the can and make sure you clean it until it shines. Now watch how perfectly this can fits into the top of the jar. It's like it was meant to be, and the lip at the top even prevents the can from falling through as well. I tried wrapping three layers of electrical tape around the can near the top, and you can see this simple modification makes it so the can locks firmly into place and won't fall out. Just test the lid to make sure it screws back on, and your deceptive miracle safe is just about done. Now if you find you're having a hard time screwing the cap on, it's probably because your tin of cat food curves up slightly at the top and won't push all the way down. You can address that challenge by grinding the top of the jar down around a quarter of an inch. This will compensate for the extra space and get the screw threads close enough for the lid to get a good bite on the jar. To finish up, simply fill the can with some of the Miracle Whip you took out of the jar earlier, and when you push the can back into place, take a good look at your creation. If you get the impression your jar is completely full of salad dressing, then you're finished. Go ahead and load up your jar with whatever it is you want hidden, then cover it up with the creamy dressing to conceal your treasure inside. You've just made yourself a miracle safe that could be used for treasure hunting, geocaching, or anything else you'd want to use it for. Now for ultimate security, try blending your jar in with all your other condiments, and if you can, hide it way at the back so it's even harder to get to, and stays out of sight and out of mind. Chances are, no one's ever going to open it anyway, even if they're living in the house with you. By the way, if you're still paranoid that someone's going to figure out your little secret, try going one step further by pouring a little plaster of Paris into the bottom of the jar. This will make the jar feel heavy and full, so the weight won't give it away if they pick it up. Well now you know how to transform a simple jar of salad dressing into a covert miracle save that puts the odds in your favor by modestly keeping your valuables hidden in plain sight. Well that's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Well now that you know where to find my secret stash, I really can't use this in my house anymore, can I? So I'm gonna give this to one of you, no matter where you are in the world. So hang tight, and I'll tell you how to win it in just a second. This video was sponsored by Casper.com, which is awesome because it means I can get you $50 off a memory foam mattress. Just use the promo code THEKINGOFRANDOM when you're checking out. It's easy. You might remember that four months ago, I ordered a king-size mattress for my wife and I so we could test it out and tell you about our experience. So far, it's been really good, and I'll show you why. Looking inside, you can see the mattress is made with premium latex foam on the top and a layer of high-density memory foam underneath. I actually really like this combination because it's firm enough to support me and the memory foam shapes to my body for extra comfort. Now Casper gives everyone up to 100 days to return a mattress if they don't like it, but after two weeks we went ahead and sold our other memory foam mattress because the Casper ended up being more comfortable and a better price anyway. Our line of thinking is that if it's true you spend a third of your life in bed, it's probably a good idea to be sleeping on a mattress that's good for your body. 
I'm recommending the Casper because it's what I use, and if you go to casper.com slash thekingofrandom right now and enter the promo code thekingofrandom, you'll get an extra $50 off your price tag just for watching this video. If that's not enough, they'll even give you 100 days to return it and come pick it up for free if you decide it's not for you. If you want to win the miracle safe from this video, just click the link in the description and enter the secret passcode with your email address. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos. Your enthusiasm gets me really excited. And I've just finished making a whole bunch more videos that I'm really anxious to share with you, so I'll be looking for you in the next project video. I'll talk to you then.